welcome Sats geniuses to question 21 and this one's about coordinates so we've got a b d e is a rectangle all that means is a to b to d to e and obviously back to a again so that basically just describing the rectangle and it's saying it's on a coordinate axis the sides of the rectangle are parallel to the axes Point C is the centre of the rectangle. What are the coordinates of point B and D? Well, the easiest thing to do here is from the coordinates you're given, draw some lines down and across to the axes and label some numbers. So point A, draw a line straight down going through point E and a line straight across. Now remember that the first number in any coordinate is across the bottom along the corridor up the stairs. So this 25 is 25 along the corridor, which means from zero along the corridor must be 25 there, because point A is level with that 25. Then up the stairs is 30, so this must be 30 up the side. Now we'll do the same for C. So C, if you draw a line straight down and straight across, to the x and the y axis, then point C is 40 along the corridor, which means that number is 40, and 22 up the side, which means that number is 22. Now, what you've got to do here then is be a little bit smart because it does tell you that point C is the center of the rectangle. Now, if C is the center of the rectangle, that must mean we've got a line of symmetry down here. And if that's a line of symmetry, then the gap from 25 to 40 is going to be the same gap from 40 up to being level with point D. Now, this is a gap of 15 because 25 plus 15 equals 40. So we're going to plus 15 onto 40 and that is going to give us 55, which means point B and D must both be level with this 55. So we can basically write that 55 in on both of them. B and D are both level with 55. Now what we've got to do next is look at the vertical gap. So we looked at the horizontal gap between 25 and 40. Now let's look at the vertical gap between 30 and 22. Well, that is a gap of eight because 30 take away eight is 22. So it's a gap of eight. But that means, because this is a line of symmetry, because C was in the middle of the rectangle, we're going to have another gap of 8 on the other side. So we're going to have a gap of 8 below 22. So 22 take away 8 is basically going to be 14. 2 take 8 you can't do, so borrow. 12 take 8 is 4, and 1 take nothing is 1. So we're going to have 14 down here, and that is going to be level with points E and D. So D is 55 along, 55 along and 14 up. So that's 55 comma 14. Whereas B is 55 along and B is level with this 30 up the side. So that's 55 comma 30. But it really does help to draw lines across and down from the coordinates you've been given and label some numbers along the axes, along the x-axis and up the y-axis.